words to Zerko. Tom's River, St. Maximilian, Colby. So, um, what, what brought you here today? Well, we're at every, all three days a week, we're at abortion mill in Tom's River. And we'd like to have more people come there. And we know that our government is stepping on our religious rights. It's not only our rights, but the rights of everybody. Our constitutional rights. It's not only Catholics. It's Christians, all Christians, and all people. So uh, this is why we came here. And how does it feel to be part of this, uh, such, a, such a large group? It's great. It's great to be here to see all these people out here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. What did you, can you tell us what you thought of the bishop's homily? It was great. The bishop's homily was great. It's the first one I heard of him, so, you know, since he's been here, because we don't get to see him very often. And uh, it was great, too. He had a good homily. Well, it's a beautiful day. It's wonderful. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Sorry, That's right. Again? Yes. I'm Patricia Hilton. I live in the Flemington area. I live on a beautiful preserved farm. And I uh, am in, I'm delighted to be here today because it's a beautiful day. And I, I attend St. Magdalene's Church. And it's a wonderful opportunity to, uh, to worship the Lord and, and praise Him and, and realize that we need to stick together all, all works of, walks of life and faith to, uh, to realize that we, we need to do better for our country and keep God on our on our currency and God in God bless America. And how do you feel about the bishop's homily? It was beautiful. He couldn't have hit it better in, in terms of, again, we need to be united and liberty is in the pursuit of happiness and, and to keep us on the right track with, with the health care issues, we need to make sure we do the right thing and, and pray for our country and pray for our government. That's very important. Thank you. You're welcome. You again, you're My back. name is Crystal Silvers. I'm from St. Veronica's in Howell, New Jersey. What made you want to come out here today? Uh, our beliefs with God, you know, we, we have to stand up for what we believe in, so. Do you think it's important as, as Catholics to come together for something like this? Yes, very important for our future as a church and as a family. We can't let it die because, you know, what will we have? Nothing. We won't have anything. And how did, um, what part of the Bishop's homily struck you the most? The whole thing. Everything. He is so powerful, every part of it. Hi, my name is Joseph Baricelli. I'm from Mary, Mother of God in Hillsborough, New Jersey. And how, uh, what made you want to come out here today? Um, I, I feel that that's, uh, religious persecution is, uh, is very prominent today, uh, not because of uh, just, just because uh, it, it's important to stand up for what we believe in as Catholics, uh, to represent the church, uh, to represent the clergy, uh, to represent ourselves, to, to live in the world but not of it. Uh, I think it's very important to, to live prayerfully uh, and, and just uh, try to love uh, everyone as best as we can while advocating for, our, for Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Um, actually, I'm with the uh, parish of um, uh, St. Peter's in Merchantville. Okay. Um, uh, Although we live in uh, Bucks County, we, this is, um, Trenton is closed, so uh, we decided to come here and uh, show support um, with people in, in New Jersey. Why do you think it's important for Catholics to come together for something like this? Uh, because if they if they don't come together and uh, show support, um, the country will just go down a way that. Um, where they're not expecting, you know, we just can't take it for granted that uh, things just work itself out. Um, it's going to take a lot of active participation and, and a show of of numbers that okay, you know, we feel really passionately about this. Um, so, you know, we just can't st stand idly by anymore. Um, which and would have thought that years ago that you know we would even have to uh, get to this point, but. And um, how did you feel about the bishop's homily? What, was there a message in his homily that struck you um, the most? Um, uh, actually, <laughs> we had came a, a, a little later, you know, <laughs> the children coming from uh, um, Pennsylvania to make sure. Uh, and how does it feel to see so many people here? Oh, very heartwarming, very heartwarming. Thank you. All right, thank you.